In this process, we're going to show you how Timer Pro handles the uh, revision histories in your work instructions. You can see up here my work instruction demo is the name of the process. I've got the dash TP, which means Timer Pro is maintaining it, and we're currently on revision 005. So let's say we get this process and they got it, somebody decides you have to make some changes. So what they decide to do is maybe take this guy and move it across here to the handle assembly. And that's going to let us take this one and move it up here space up here so we can drag this guy up here and then we can say added add an activity uh, added pair process change right, and you might say well how long does that take and somebody says I'll give them 18 seconds you put 18 in here and now you've just added a new activity in here so what you've done is you've made some changes to your revision 5 here so it's really no, no longer revision 5 so what we do is we go to the summary here and we say we want to update our work instructions. So we select the work instructions here. We select the work instructions, that's the format we're using. And then what we're doing is we're looking for the current revision 5. You see it right here, 005. So here I have revision 005 right here. And it's in Excel. This is our Excel uh, work instructions. And here I have revisions 005 of the work instruction in the process. So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the OK. And what it's going to do is going to instantly change the 005 at the top to 006. So I'll do that now. And you see it instantly changed it to 006. It's preserving revision 5. And it's looking now, it's going to put everything back together and it's going to tell you what changed between 5 and 6. So you just let it run here. And it's figuring out what, what was changed. And again, it's working on the tags that are given to each of the individual activities to figure out what was there before and what's now there. And then it's going to start pouring it back in here. And when the updates are finished, it's going to create one other sheet here called TP Change. This is what Timer Pro changed, and it's actually telling you everything that you did on the process between revision 5 and revision 6. So it tells you here element move from stack parts to handle assembly. And it gives you a copy of that element, including all the pictures and notes and everything. So if I go back to the handle assembly, sure enough, that same information is right in there in exactly the same place, pixel for pixel, where you dropped it here. Other things that will pick up, anything you added, right? So it says the element's been added to task mount wheels. So I'll go back to mount wheels. It's called added pair process change. So here's my mount wheels, and here's my added pair process change right here. Uh, even the ones that you moved, just drag them around to different stacks on your uh, processor shown here is being moved here. So a combination of the ability to tr keep track of where things are dragged around and the automatic revision bumping from 005 to 006 in this example and the revision history is how we give you a complete log of everything that's changed in your process.